do not use CapCut again until you watch this video. CapCut just rolled out a huge terms of service update and it is not creator friendly and it is certainly not privacy friendly. And based on these new terms, there's a few of you who might actually end up in a lawsuit with CapCut if you violate any of these terms. Look, this is a crazy update. We're gonna dig into it, buckle up. Now what you're looking at here are the updated terms of service and it's a ton of legalese, but this became effective on June 12th this month when I recorded this video. Uh, today is the 23rd when I'm recording this video. So if you agreed to these terms already, congratulations, you are effectively in CapCut's matrix. Now what I want you to do is scroll all the way down to number 10, which is content, and then go down a little bit further and look at user generated content. Now again, this is a ton of legalese and it's kind of confusing. So we're gonna do two things here. We're gonna do step one. I'm gonna copy and paste this into chat GPT and ask it what red flags it can identify with the part that we put in there for the user generated content. And the second thing we're gonna do is head over to a lawyer's website who did a fantastic breakdown of this already and essentially gave us the cliff notes of what it means for us as creators. But first, let's go ahead and put this into chat GPT. Right out of the gate, the first thing ChatGPT identified is there is unconditional, irrevocable, royalty-free, perpetual license. That means that there are no conditions on your end, meaning you can't restrict them. It's irrevocable, meaning you can't take it away. It's royalty-free, meaning they don't have to pay you for it ever. And it's perpetual license, meaning it goes on forever, forever, ever. So it says you grant us and our affiliates an unconditional, irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, fully transferable, including sub-licensable, perpetual worldwide license. Worldwide, so even if you're in Botswana, they can sell your content uh, in Botswana, sorry. Now I shouldn't have to explain why this is bad, but let's keep going to see what ChatGPT had to say here. Why this is bad, you give up permanent global rights to use your content however you want. They can modify, monetize, distribute, or sell your work without paying you or without giving you credit. And you can't revoke this permission later. Once you've agreed to these terms, they have it. Even if you delete the app or your content, if they have your content, they can still use it. Privacy impact, once it's uploaded, your content becomes theirs to use or share forever, anywhere with anyone. Content risk, even your original music, musicians pay attention here, videos, templates, or animations can legally be reused or resold by CapCut or its partners. Number two, use of your likeness, image, and username. Why this is bad? They can use your face, your name, and your branding in their ads or sponsored content without your approval. In a nutshell, you can become an ambassador for CapCut or anyone else that they sell your content to if they were to do that without your permission. Even if you don't support or approve of that service, that's terrifying there. Identity risk, this opens the door to unwanted exposure and deep privacy violations and brand risks. You lose control of how your public image is being used and by whom. Now this part is huge because as you grow as a creator, your brand, your personal brand becomes more valuable and anything that you make within CapCut, they technically have access to it. So, you know, it might not bother you today, but what about two years from now? What about five years from now? What if when you have 5 million subscribers, all of a sudden you become a brand ambassador for their parent company for some software that you've never heard of? Technically, it can happen now. Moving on. Waiver of moral rights and rights to privacy. You waive any and all rights of privacy, publicity, and agree to never assert any and all moral rights. Why this is bad? You're giving up the right to object to how your work is used, even if it's distorted, cropped, or repurposed in ways that harm your reputation. Essentially, they can take what you have, remix it, edit it, chop it up, put a new narrative together, and sell it or broadcast it or advertise it however they see fit. So you also waive prior approval rights. So they don't have to contact you and say, is this okay? We've done a mashup of your content. Can we put this out there? They don't have to ask anything. They just do it. What's the real world impact here? If they use your video in a controversial ad or next to offensive material, you have no legal recourse. This is absolutely wild. Moving on to number four, right to disclose your identity. We have the right to disclose your identity to any third party claiming a violation of their rights. Why this is bad? I don't even need to explain why this is bad. This could lead to legal threats, harassment, or doxing if someone accuses you of some infringement. Even falsely, they can disclose your identity based on whatever information they have on you. That's 
That's pretty insane. Privacy impact. There is no strong barrier protecting your real identity from being handed over to outside parties. Now look, we live in an age where privacy is, is really hard to come by and they're not making it easier. So if you're working under an alias or you're doing a faceless channel and nobody knows who you are, and there's some legal issue, which we're gonna get to here in a, a few moments, your IP addresses, any information that you use to sign up with, or maybe if you're a paying customer, your credit card information, anything that they have that can identify you, they can pass that on. Moving on, through to the audience, plus no royalty obligations. Now, this also affects musicians here, so pay attention. Why this is bad, they claim the right to bypass music licensing, even if you are signed to a label or PRO like ASCAP or BMI. You alone are liable if this breaches your contracts with the labels or publishers, not them. So if you're a musician, uploading your own songs, even demos can violate your label or publishing deal and get you sued. You can be sued because they're using your music that you didn't clear to allow them to use. Now, if you're a video creator, you can choose how you're gonna use CapCut, if you're gonna to continue to use CapCut. But if you are a musician, I would urge you to delete CapCut today, unless they change their terms of services, because that risk is not worth it if you're a musician, especially if you have a PRO or you have a record deal or, or something like that. It's simply, simply not worth it. What this means overall, this is kind of the cliff notes. And by the way, I just asked for five red flags. These are just the five red flags that I identify. So what this means overall, your privacy, you risk being publicly identified or associated with uses of your content that you did not authorize. Your image, voice, account name can be used in advertising or shared with third parties, including in other countries without notice. Your content, CapCut, and its parent company, ByteDance, can store, edit, reuse, or license your work forever for any purpose without compensation, and you lose all control over how your content is reused, displayed, or distributed. Your identity, we already talked about this, any content tied to your name, voice, or space becomes part of their promotional assets if they wanna use it. And even deleted content can be archived, licensed, or referenced later. You may be held liable for claims from rights holders with no protection from CapCut. Now this part is crazy. This means that if CapCut uses your content after you've agreed to these terms and they have a problem, let's say you view music that you're not allowed to use or you used a clip from a movie or a TV show or something that's a, a copyright issue and they have legal problems because of it, you are in the legal hot seat. You are legally responsible for whatever happens to them. They are not gonna get in trouble over it. They are not gonna be legally responsible. You're agreeing to the terms that says you are still responsible even though they used it and they're having the problem you are legally responsible. That is insane, absolutely insane. Now ChatGPT goes on to say, if you care about privacy, creative control, or protecting your brand, do not upload anything original into CapCut, especially music, voiceovers, face cam recordings, or branded visuals. Treat it like a surveillance enabled content farm. Bite dance. hello. Use offline tools for safer editors with creator friendly terms instead. So ChatGPT is saying, essentially, if there's anything important, anything at all, but don't put it in a cap cut. That's what ChatGPT has to say. But what does a lawyer have to say about that? Let's go have a look. Now, right out of the gate, I wanna say I have no affiliation with this law firm. I do not know them, but they did a great simple breakdown of what this means. The law firm is called Isaboke Law. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And I'm gonna put a link to this page down below. They have a phone number that you can call them or you can book a consultation if you have further questions. Uh, again, I don't know them or have any affiliation. So let's just go ahead and dive into that. So what a CapCut change in his 2025 terms of service, and it goes on and on and on here, effective on June 12th. Quick summary, that's what you're here for. As of June 12th, 2025, when you use CapCut, you still own your content, but CapCut gets royalty-free worldwide perpetual license. They can modify, publish, monetize, and resell your work. You waive personal rights like approval or credit. The license is irrevocable and sub-licensable. So what rights does CapCut claim over my content? CapCut's updated terms of service allows them to use, modify, and distribute your media, create and publish derivative works, monetize your content without notifying or paying you, or sub-license your content to third parties like ad platforms. Does CapCut own my videos? No. You retain copyright ownership of your videos. However, by uploading or editing in CapCut, you automatically grant them a perpetual license to use it however they want, worldwide and royalty-free. 
Can CapCut sell my content without telling me? Yes, yes they can. CapCut and its affiliates can do that. They can use your content in ads, promos, or sponsored posts. They can sell or republish your media on third-party platforms, and they can do all of this without notifying, crediting, or compensating you. How long does a CapCut license last? Forever, that's what perpetual means. And it's global applies to all countries, even Botswana, and it's sub-licensable. Sub-licensable, that was a weird word. CapCut can give these rights to others. Do I waive any personal rights? Yes, by using CapCut, you waive your right to review or approve how your content is used, allow your name, image, and likeness, and you can be identified as a creator without being paid. Now, this is the weird part. Now, I haven't gone down this rabbit hole yet, but I'm going to. They say other platforms with similar terms. CapCut isn't alone. Platforms like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Canva all include similar licensing terms in their TOS. Most offer global royalty-free licenses that allow them to use, promote, or monetize your content for company benefit. Now, I don't know when they say similar licensing terms if they mean they're as crazy as these. And I would think that we would have heard of it by now if they were, but they go on to say, you know, can use, promote, monetize your content for company benefit. I'm gonna go down this rabbit hole in another video and compare the licenses. And if I see any red flags that you need to know about, I'll, I'll make videos about that too. But I'm, that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. So what should creators do next? Tips for smart creators. And of course you're a smart creator if you're watching this video and you're subscribed to my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing with your life? Hit the subscribe button. So if you want full control, export your final cut, right? And publish outside of CapCut. That means do your last video and move on. If you're still using CapCut, assume that they may use your finished work elsewhere. Prefer safer terms? Try DIY editors with creator first terms of service like DaVinci Resolve, VN, or CapCut alternatives. Now I'll say Daniel Battelle, I'm gonna put his, a link to his channel in the description below. Fantastic videos teaching you how to use DaVinci Resolve. And I also have a video on VN. I'll be making more videos on that in the future as well as other CapCut alternatives. And Easybook Law's final takeaway here is CapCut's 2025 update highlights a growing trend in digital platforms, convenience in exchange for content rights. If you value creative control, licensing terms matter. Read before you upload. Now, my takeaway here is there's two things. One, that we're legally on the hook if they have problems with our content, that's insane. And number two, anything that we put into CapCut, they can use, even if it's a draft, even if it's private, you don't have to publish it on the internet. Anything you put into CapCut, anything you upload into CapCut, right? You take it off your desktop, you take it off your phone from a folder, you import it into CapCut, they can access that. That's a bit terrifying. I don't know what you've done with your private videos. And I don't want to know what you've done with your private videos. Just know that CapCut, according to all of this, they have access to your private videos, even if you've never uploaded them. And that should, uh, that should freak you out. Now I have a handful of videos to make to give you CapCut alternatives, but I've already made one. We talked about VN just a little bit earlier. That's the video showing on the screen right now. It's great for beginners. And it's a pretty good CapCut alternative. So go ahead and watch that video if you wanna learn how to use it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.